So today we're going to be going over how to add a custom server, Bedrock Edition of course, for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, you won't be able to add, connect to any of the Java servers, you'll only be able to connect to Bedrock servers. Uh, but this will allow you to connect to uh, more than just the five uh, static servers that you know, Nintendo has allowed people to connect to on their Switch. Um, this restriction is probably put in place due to security reasons. It is kind of a bummer though because uh, you know you, you don't have the ease of access for like the Android iOS or Windows 10 edition where you can just go you know play add server and then add any server you'd want. Um, so there's gonna be uh, you know a decent amount of steps here but if you follow along I am confident that you'll be able to you know go ahead and get your switch connected. So first things first what we're gonna do is we are going to download a program called NX Mine NS. Uh, this was developed by this user here uh, Stitch XD on uh, G GBA temp.net. Um, so essentially, what it does is it uses the .NET framework um, both on Windows and on Linux, as well as Mac OS X, um, to essentially redirect DNS requests. Uh, this is kind of just a really easy one-stop uh, command that you can run, uh, you know, on your on your desktop or laptop, and you know, get it up and going. Um, some little caveats with this. Uh, so the first time setup is going to be a little bit longer. Um, after that, what I'm going to do is kind of walk us through a way to run a, a batch file that'll you know make it a one-click sort of solution. Um, also, <clears throat> after you've gotten connected to the server, uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, you can then turn off the, the computer or the laptop that you have this this program running on and your switch you'll be good to go. Um, every time you go to play Minecraft on a dedicated server that isn't one of the five statics provided by Nintendo, you will have to run this program. Uh, if you want to use your switch normally though <clears throat> to play any other game, obviously you don't have to run this program. Uh, so if we head over to this user's GitHub, we'll go ahead and find uh, under the releases section here, uh, we have six assets. We have two source codes, we'll ignore those. And we have two versions for Windows, one for OS X and one for Linux. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and download the one that uh, you know most aptly fits your operating system. For me, that's gonna be the Windows 64-bit version. So we're gonna click and download this. All right, and we'll see here that we have it downloaded. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and extract it. Once it's been extracted, we're going to go ahead and take this folder here that was a result of it being extracted, and we're going to move it to your document. This will make it a lot easier so we can move it and kind of forget about it, and that way you know it doesn't actually get deleted. Uh, so what we're going to do is right click, we're going to cut, and we're going to go to your documents. Uh, for me, this is going to be C, users, my name, and then documents, and we're going to toss it right in here. So we'll go right click and we will do paste. Uh, once you have this in here, we're going to go ahead and open up this folder, and we're just going to leave this to the side for a second. Uh, the next thing we're going to download is a text file that I have written. Uh, essentially, we're going to turn it into a batch file, which will end up running the application we have downloaded. Um, the link to that will be in the description. I'm going to go ahead and get it open, though, right now. All right. So um, once you have this file downloaded, you'll open it up, and you'll see that uh, it has my file location to this exe in here. And then it'll also have this field here, dedicated server IP. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this publish folder. We're going to right click any one of these files, doesn't matter which one, and go to properties. And we'll go ahead and copy this location. We're going to take this location and replace the first bit here from C all the way to the end uh, slash for publish. And we're just going to replace it with what uh, we copied. And make sure that you have this end slash before nx mine ns.exe. So your end um, end result here is the file path, whack, nx mine ns.exe, and we'll have dedicated server IP. All right. So the second part of this is you need to have a dedicated um, Minecraft Bedrock Edition server IP. Let's say we want to connect to fallentech.tk here. We do need to know the actual IP address of the server and not just the domain name. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just open up command prompt here and we'll just ping the server. Oh, I have to remove the port. So we'll have ping fallentech.tk. 
and we'll see that we get a response from 149.56.107.220. So we'll go ahead and we'll reopen our our text file here. So we're going to reopen this text file here, and we'll go ahead and type in 149.56.107 and 220. All right, and we'll go ahead and hit File, Save As. We'll change the save as type to all files, and we'll save it as Minecraft DNS BAT. And you can save this wherever you want. Um, I'm going to put it on my desktop just to make it easier, so I know where it is, so I can run it from there. We'll go ahead and click save. We'll close out of the Notepad. We're going to leave the command prompt window open for a second here, because uh, we're going to need that in a second. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up our bat file. We'll run it and we can see that it says on this last line here it looks like we're all set set, uh, you set your switches DNS the IP of this computer and the line above it says starting Minecraft server to redirect all known Minecraft featured servers to 149.56.107.220 which is what we found before uh, the next thing we need to do uh, and this is the last step on your computer is to use your command prompt window over here on the right to find the IP address of your computer. So for example, this will be on your local area network, not your external IP network, or sorry, not your external IP address. So what we'll do is just type in ipconfig, and what we're looking for here is this IP, IPv4 address. So mine is 192.168.1.2. You might also see something along the lines of 10.0.0.1, or 192.168.0. and then a number. Um, it doesn't really matter as long as you copy this number down. I'd write it down in a post-it note um, or something similar. Maybe we're taking it to your phone. Uh, because what we're going to do in the next step is go to your Nintendo Switch. Uh, and I'll continue uh, once I go grab that. All right, so I'm going to do the next part on, um, on my Switch here. Apologize for the janky camp setup as I don't have a capture card. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and open up our system settings. Now from the internet, we're going to go to internet settings, this top section here. And we're going to go ahead and click on the network that we're connected to. Now after we click on this, change move this a little bit. We're going to go ahead and click on the change settings. And under DNS setting, we're going to go manual. All right. Now for the primary DNS, this is going to be the number that we wrote down before. So for me, this was 192.168.1.2. All right, well, let's double check that I wrote that down correctly. 168.1.2. All right, I'm going to click OK. Now for the secondary DNS, uh, you have kind of a choice here. You can either use uh, like Cloudfares DNS or Google's DNS. Um, me personally, I'm going to use Cloudfares. Uh, so that's one dot, oops, one dot, one dot, one dot, one. All right, and go ahead and click OK. And we're going to click Save, and we'll click OK. And then we'll connect to this network. Now, this right here will let you know if you've done it correctly, uh, kind of two different ways. Um, the first way we'll know is if our we get this message here, successfully, successfully connected. And I'm also going to swap in the video now to my desktop screen again. Uh, we'll see a bunch of text pop up here. Uh, these are all the DNS requests that are going from your switch to your computer. Um, essentially what it's doing, uh, just you know, in case you're curious, is any uh, DNS request that is different than a Minecraft server, it is just sending straight to Cloudflare and Cloudflare is answering it for you. Uh, any DNS request that has to do with a Minecraft server though, it is changing it to the IP address that we typed into that notepad document before. Um, all right, so I'm gonna end. All right, so now you'll be able to go uh, ahead in Minecraft and just hit play. We'll go to servers and we'll go ahead and connect to any one of these featured servers here from Mineplex, the Lifeboat, to CubeCity. Um, 
I do not have uh, Minecraft downloaded on my Switch right now. So what I'm going to show you instead is how it should look. All right, so as you can see, uh, all the servers here, all these featured servers are showing up exactly the same. Again, I know I'm on uh, Windows PC, but this is what you would see on your Switch. So instead of uh, the server showing up as the Hive or Mineville City, uh, we'll see that in the description here, this is actually fall on tech, uh, you know, prison, skyblock, etc., which is what we got from that web address before. Uh, you're all good to go now. Uh, the only thing that you'll have to do in the future is to run that uh, same batch file that uh, for me was on my desktop, so this Minecraft DNS.bat. Uh, as soon as you're connected to a server, like let's get connected to the to the hive in parentheses here, but uh, you know the server we've entered in, uh, we'll go ahead and load in. Uh, now what we can do is we can actually close out of um, all the programs that are on your desktop or laptop. Uh, we can go ahead and just click the X and we can just continue on. Uh, because essentially all it did initially was connect you to the server. Now that we're connected, we have no, we don't have a use for that DNS server or the DNS lookup anymore. Uh, so, you know, we've taken, you know, kind of took care of the, the, the issue that Nintendo presents when they restrict you to those five servers. Uh, so this will work for any server you find online that is a Bedrock Edition server. Uh, you can also host your own Minecraft servers, Minecraft Bedrock Edition servers, and connect to those. Uh, instead of the external IP address being uh, being placed in the batch file, uh, you would replace it instead with the local address of the computer that's running the Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Or let's say a friend is running a Minecraft Bedrock Edition server at their house, uh, they would give you the external IP address to their server, and you would put it right here uh, where, where we have this other server's address. Um, so, uh, kind of going forward in the future, um, I'm hoping to collaborate with the user who created this program and have the option so that when we're on the server page, we can actually have five servers added uh, instead of these you know, default ones. Um, I also want to make it a little bit easier to create that bat file, though I guess if you've already walked through, watched this video, you've already gone through and done that work. Um, otherwise, I mean, if you guys have any questions, feel free to you know, post in the comments. I'll try my best to help you out. Um, but yeah, uh, this, this kind of adds a solution that unfortunately Nintendo is unable to provide us at this time. All right, just as a final note here, um, this program should work for any of the Minecraft Bedrock editions. Um, I know that this uh, GitHub page list that the PlayStation is on here, but I know for a fact that Xbox, Switch, Android, iOS, Windows, they all use the Bedrock edition. I'm not sure if the PlayStation or uh, PS4 uses the Bedrock edition, so it may not work for you. Um, this also allows you um, to play with any other person on any of those five consoles. So if you know you want to play with an Xbox uh, user and you know, you're on Windows or you're on your Switch, uh, you can all collaborate together now um, by connecting to the same dedicated server just by using this uh, process outlined here. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.